This is the future of gamers. Evolved for maximum gaming efficiency. Getting rid of all of their useless skills like movement or exercising. Completely disregarding their health and eating themselves into oblivion. This is the future. This is the future we all will have to look forward to. Or is it? So this is a study that was put out. This is about a month old story, but I wanted to discuss it. About how people are going to look in the future 20 years from now if they continue to be useless gamers. Because that's... Every single person that plays video games, this is what you're going to look like, is basically what the article is trying to say, and what everybody's going to read when they read it. And because it's a study, everyone's going to believe that it's some factual thing. So let's act like the common general public person, and let's just take it at face value, and then we're going to do something near the end of the video that other people aren't doing and discuss that. So of course they use the fact that the World Health Organization has recognized this as an official psychological disorder that video game addiction is real. They seem to cite that a lot and they use that as a reasoning for saying that this is what is going to happen to people if they keep spending too much time indoors and online. Funny thing is, I mean we've, we've all been doing this now because we're all stuck inside and we can't really go outdoors. The main thing that I think a lot of people are going to look at and the thing we're gonna cover is this horrifying depiction that, oh, you know what, this study, this is a model that was generated by the study. They act as if they didn't just sit in a boardroom and make fun of people that play video games and laugh about how funny and fat they are and how useless they are and like let's make the ugliest person imaginable and we'll just call them that so let's go ahead and break this down and discuss the logic of some of these things so first of all the indent in skull is hilarious it's supposedly from the pressure and overuse of headphones my head looks fine uh and I have to use headphones all the time for work. And you know what? That's the thing about this picture is that they say that this is the gamer in 20 years. But this is just a modern office person. I mean, a lot of people in an office environment look exactly like this guy. They don't even play video games. But because so many jobs nowadays are just sedentary jobs, this is what a lot of people look like. Has nothing to do with video games, but let's continue. I'm gonna go ahead and refute that right away. So unless you have a metal clamp that you tighten down like a torture device, it is not going to be putting an indent in your skull. They're not crunching my bone in while using them. Otherwise they'd be uncomfortable and people wouldn't be able to wear them and they'd take them off. So that's already number one, really stupid. Bald patches <laughs> from lack of sunlight and vitamin D. I hate to say it to all you guys out there, but most likely 20 years from now, unless you're like really, really young watching this video, you're gonna be losing your hair anyway. I hate to say it. Male pattern baldness is very, very common. And I'm hoping that 20 years from now, they'll have some solution for that but I doubt it. Dark circles. I have those. I have had them since I was in like high school, maybe even middle school. I don't know why I have them. I'm going to be completely honest. It could be from screen time. But the thing is, again, as a person that works an office job and does most of his work on a computer for eight hours a day, every single day during the week, I don't really have a choice. So this is the first plausible one. Bloodshot eyes, there you go. So those two things, very plausible, but things that are temporary and you can prevent. Bloodshot eyes, that's why I wear these glasses. I don't need prescription glasses, but when I get, once again, I'm using the screen for eight hours at work. I have to use them. You should get them if you work in an office, just saying. Hairy ears from lack of air circulation. I've never heard of that before. That's hilarious. I'm not even looking that one up. I looked up a couple of these. 
That just sounds way too stupid to be true. Rounded shoulders from lack of movement. Now, I don't think your arms are gonna sink down that low. I mean, this is just hilarious. You're not gonna have broad shoulders, but still, I don't think they're gonna sink as low as this claymation man over here. Hunched back from poor posture over time. You're just assuming now that gamers have poor posture. You're just assuming things that have nothing to do with sitting there in video games, especially if they're using those racing chairs. They like force you to like stay up straight. So if you've got one of those racing gamer chairs and let's just say that they're assuming that every video game player does, you would not have a bad posture. Obese. Okay, this one makes sense again, but the increased food intake I have a problem with because I don't know about you guys, but if I am on a long gaming session, I'm not eating anything. I feel like I've lost weight from playing games before because <laughs> I just forget to eat lunch or I skip a meal or I just have like a quick snack and that's barely any calories at all. But I will, I will concede that you will get fat without exercise. Eczema, stress induced. Now, if you're playing video games all the time and that's all you're doing according to this article, what are you stressing about, man? What are, you, what are you stressing out about? You're playing video games. Pale skin from deficiency in vitamins B12 and D. I mean, I'm white as fuck. I'm not gonna lie here. It's kind of obvious. I'm a little bit, I'm even whiter because of these lights, but you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll concede to that. I don't know if it's lack of vitamin B12 though, because B12 is in almost every single energy drink known to man. And again, we're talking about the stereotypical gamer here. So he's drinking G Fuel, or he's drinking Monster, or he's drinking NOS, or any of those things. They are so packed of B12, it's crazy. And I think you can still have pale skin even if you have a good vitamin D intake. Because if you drink a bunch of milk, like I do, I'm still white as fuck. It's not going to make me tan by drinking milk. First person shooter, what? the f that's not even a medical condition first person shooter you didn't even bother giving it like first person or fps wrist or first person shooter wrist or shooter wrist or anything like that you're just calling it first person shooter all right cool this one actually exists playstation thumb i had to look this one up from repetitive strain from excessive use of controller this is a real thing that people can get playstation thumb and nintendo arthritis it's so funny why doesn't xbox have one of these xbox needs a health condition i'm calling it now they need one catch up microsoft blisters on fingertips from excessive use of controller or keyboard this is complete bullshit you cannot get blisters from using a controller or a keyboard as a person that uses a keyboard again all the time my fingers do not have blisters on them i've got like blisters here from like the pull-up bar but uh, you don't get them from a keyboard what is your keyboard made out of sandpaper trigger finger repetitive strain injury and you know i've i've actually i've had this in certain games like serious sam where you're shooting a bajillion different things even if i play it for just a little bit but again this is not they call it an injury but it's something like oh my finger's sore i'm gonna not play games for a little bit and then i'll be fine and then you're fine again varicose veins this is something that could happen i guess but Again, this is going to affect most modern office workers. Same with the swollen ankles from lack of movement. Now, I've never seen swollen ankles. I mean, I guess that kind of goes with obesity. The swollen ankles and obesity and varicose veins all kind of mesh together into one cohesive thing. But it's like, this is what anybody's going to look like with lack of exercise, lack of movement, lack of just being a basic human being. Seriously, like, just saying that this is the future gamer, this is the future couch potato, this is the future person that watches TV all the time, or just does their 9 to 5 job at work, and then doesn't do anything afterwards and goes and sits and watch TV. This could be called the future office worker, seriously. The fact that they're just calling it future gamer is just hilarious. And the thing is, with a lot of these different statements, they use could a lot, because all of this is bullshit. I, I don't know if you knew this, but this is complete bullshit. Because if you do five seconds of research, where is this from? Where was this study done? 
onlinecasino.ca. That's right, some Canadian online casino did this study. And why the fuck are they even calling it a study? They just sat around and came up with a bunch of bullshit and said, this could happen, this could happen, this could happen, these things could happen. Where's the scientific research? Let me look. Oh, wait, there isn't any. They basically just look at things that could be happening with somebody who plays video games a lot and goes, all right, that's a study now. These things could happen. That's about it. We could get hit by an asteroid, but you don't see me putting a fucking study out about it. Study shows that we could get hit by an asteroid tomorrow. It's just fear-mongering and extra bullshit that kind of pisses me off. It's like, what are you, what are you guys doing? And why is the onlinecasino.ca, why are they making this study to begin with? I think it was just a publicity stunt and they were hoping it would bring more traffic to their website since every single website that talks about the story has to link back to the online casino website. So I think that's the most plausible theory here. Study shows that online casinos in Canada could be spouting bullshit just to get attention. I think that's a study that, uh, I mean, I just came up with it, but it's a, it's a very valid study. So what do we learn from this? Uh, I learned that Facebook is fucking stupid because that's where I heard from this in the first place. Facebook is like a cesspool of garbage articles and fake studies that for some reason, middle-aged people still spread around to everywhere else on the internet. So many different websites cover this study as if it were a real scientific study and that was actually showing what could happen to people in the future if they just keep playing video games. And the thing is, is a lot of it is just like, oh no shit, if you don't exercise and you don't eat correctly, you're gonna get fat. Let me know what you guys think about this study in the comments down below if you guys remember seeing this a little while back it was about a month ago like i said like the video if you guys liked it subscribe for more content and as always have a fanta fantastic day see you guys